So here we are on uh, one of our locations. This is a project Wanaka to Haast. We're putting a fibre duct in. Uh, the project is about 119 kilometres of trenching and mole ploughing. At this stage of the project, we have approximately 63 kilometres left to complete. Um, of that, 50% is in the berm with the ST2 rock saw and 50% is in the road with either the TRS 300 or TRS 885. For it we did spend uh, a good six months to a year planning and just looking at how we would overcome some of the challenges involved in the project. Uh, where there's no room in the berm to run the trencher we've had to trench in the road which is always 600 millimetres deep and 80 millimetres to 150 millimetres wide. It keeps the impact to the road and the environment fairly low. We lay the duct as we trench uh, and then cover it with a flowable mortar on top. The next day we come in with base course, we have a truck set up with a special chute on the back of it to allow the base course to be put into the trench. Looking at how we could overcome the issue of the compaction for the base course in such a narrow trench, we found that the conventional way of using a foot rammer was not, not a feasible option. So this is why uh, we looked around and we found these compaction wheels that we can mount on the skid stairs. This has kept our time frame to scale with what the client required uh, from us. Some of the other issues are communications. Obviously on this project there's not a lot of cell phone coverage here um, throughout the project. So therefore for emergency communications our guys uh, carry satellite phones with them. And then we have radios and repeaters um, throughout the site so that we can communicate with each other well on site on a daily basis. We as in traffic management are responsible for the health and safety of our workers as well as the people who are passing through our sites. So proper traffic management is very essential. It's a beautiful nature up here but it has the most potential hazard I would say. We have rock falls, slips, especially when the weather is changing. So we are always prepared for all the kind of emergencies which we may face up here. We got emergency survival kits always available on our sites and just due to this kind of conditions we always try to keep everyone safe and make sure we keep the project running in a smooth manner. Uh, the reason we're using rock saws instead of a conventional excavator is because of the time frame that our client has asked the project to be done and to do it a conventional excavator we would need to be using rock breakers and the uh, time frame impact would be huge. We have chosen the ST2 for our berm trenching for this section of the project. We're laying fibre up here, about 120 kilometres. We need to lay the cable one metre deep. This machine can basically go up to 1.6 and it can go through some rock. We have to stay one metre far from our white line. So with this machine we can use the extensions on them and the blade can go one meter away from our white line. We can physically operate it from outside and actually see where the machine is going because of the strains. While trenching, we're laying the cable at the same time, which is time efficient. It just lays the cable at proper depth, which is required by our clients. We can lay multiple cables at the same time in the trench if needed. For this, right now, we're just laying one conduit in there with a tracing wire, so we can actually trace our fiber. Especially in these rocky trains, I think this machine for now is doing really great job for us. With innovative solutions we have met the challenges of this project and others throughout New Zealand.